Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Small Talks. I'm your host, Aaron De Guzman. Let's do this. Okay, so let's check for today's topic. So the topic for today is, should you buy insurance? So picture this. How many of you people has experienced... Uh, a friend, a co-worker, a neighbor suddenly approach you and tells you they're in the insurance business. What would you do? Do you feel obligated to buy or are you scared or have a lot of questions? So, along the way, I've come across a few tips. Uh, I've paid for insurance uh, almost for four years. I've had two policies, uh, one for VOL and another one is for health. And I've got to say, insurance isn't really uh, a laughing matter or it's not really as light as people make it out to be. So here are some 10 tips that could possibly help you in understanding insurance a bit more so that before you buy, you'll make a smart decision. So tip number one, know your lifestyle, okay? An insurance is a reflection of what is your current lifestyle. If you're a high-risk person, such as doing dangerous tasks, or if you're a low-risk person doing office tasks, the chances are you need to understand your lifestyle before you take into consideration any form of insurance. So tip number two, know your limits, okay? Your capacity to pay should not be burdened by uh, monthly commitments such as these uh, types of insurance. The way it works is every payday or every month, you allocate a specific amount for your insurance as a form of savings. Now, if you're someone who has been living in minimum wage, I can tell you from experience that this is not feasible, okay? Especially if you have any dependents along the line. So, no, so always know your spending or your capability or capacity to earn and capacity to pay before you consider insurance. So tip number three, know what type of insurance do you want. Okay, There are multiple insurance but the most popular one between millennials is the VUL or, or Variable Universal Life Insurance. It is an insurance policy in which you pay a premium every month and then if you reach a certain year you, your, one of your proceeds or the premiums you pay, a portion of it will be allocated into your savings or an investment portfolio for you. So this is equivalent to a 401k. If you're familiar with that, uh, go check it out. If you don't, I'll be making another video specifically for 401ks. Tip number four, do your research and don't believe in the taboos. Okay, Insurance is a premium paid every month. Okay? It is something that you will use in the event of something that could happen to you, especially if you die or have a morbidly or terminal form of sickness so that your, fa your family doesn't go broke. Okay? That's what insurance is. In the, likely, in the likely event that you will become dead or unable to work, insurance will play its part. But for now, insurance is a monthly premium that you pay for the likelihood or in the event or in case of emergency okay so please bear that in mind before you invest i'm not saying you shouldn't buy it but please do your research beforehand before you consider a committed payment plan so tip number five find a plan that works best with you okay if you're not if you're not comfortable with the plan being presented to you you have the option to close or reject that offer or renegotiate in terms of a more flexible plan like for example you find it difficult to pay on a monthly basis because you have other expenses that's one consideration number two the coverage sometimes policies uh, not all policies are created equal guys a lot of policies from various companies have their own pros and cons. So it's up to you to select the best product 
before you buy okay because you will be paying for it in a monthly basis so might as well uh, do a lot of research before you buy okay tip number six know what you're getting okay as I mentioned earlier all insurance policies are not created equal so it's up to you to figure out and compare which is the best okay a good way to do this is to have other people or talk to other people regarding that specific insurance uh, don't expect uh, don't expect when you're talking to an insurance agent for one company tell you how it's great uh, how what are the benefits of the other insurance company okay their main goal is to sell you a product that comes from their company because they will get a commission on that okay but it's your uh, it's your choice whether or not you're going to pick that option okay some insurance companies have better premium payments some have flexible plans some have wider coverages all of these things you should consider okay uh, you don't want to end up in a place where you do need the insurance and then you end up with a roadblock ahead like for example uh, not covered or not insured or something like that so make sure that you evaluate all of the policies offered to you okay guys don't just stick to one company try to observe all of it tip number seven know that you're going to have to commit in paying okay as i mentioned before you should always know your capacity to pay okay even though some uh, insurance companies out there are willing to go flexible payments you should know that every month when you purchase an insurance policy you should know that it's a long running like a commitment to pay for example uh, if your policy costs around 3000 pesos or at least 2500 that's a lot coming especially if you're minimum wage okay so think of that uh, what type of items uh, what type of uh, factors shall I have to give up in order to purchase that this insurance okay so time to evaluate guys uh, if it's just for your luxury I recommend buying one uh, if you only have to lose your luxury I would definitely require you to buy uh, I would recommend that you buy because um, it's it's luxury versus your own safety and security guys so you know things to consider so tip number eight know your broker okay your broker should be someone that you trust who is accessible and can answer any inquiry that you may have before you purchase this is an important factor to be an uh, to be uh, what do you call it it's an important factor or an important characteristic to have as an insurance agent okay you have to be approachable to your clients you have to be you have to know what you're selling which is uh, insurance selling 101 and then you have to have a good sense of customer satisfaction guys just because they signed the premium or just because you signed the premium doesn't mean that your transaction has to be over you have to be there for your clients in order to have them uh, in order to see what how they're performing how their insurance is performing okay if you show the least bit of sympathy if you show a lot of sympathy for your client you may end up uh, having people who upgrade their products okay so as a consumer make sure that your client or your insurance broker is very approachable so that you can monitor and you have someone that you can trust handling your money so tip number nine uh, learn what insurance companies uh, learn the company profile of each insurance company or currently what uh, what is the company that your insurance agent is representing okay there are a lot of prestigious companies out there that sell insurance and have a very stable background now if your insurance agent has uh, has that background or is representing that type of insurance company so do your research they'll be proud to provide you with the company profile but I prefer you do your own independent research on this guy because Let's just say a wise investor 
always research this before they buy. Okay? Just make sure that their company is stable, will know how to handle your money, has a lot of connections, and uh, just, you know, won't steal your money. Okay? And lastly, tip number 10, know the value and importance of insurance in your lives. Okay? Whenever you're hospitalized, whenever you're unable to work, or even before, even after you die, bills do not stop, especially debt. Okay? Insurance gives you a way so that whenever you die or you can't work at the moment, you have something to fall back. Okay? This is preparation for your future. Now, I'm not recommending any specific insurance for this. You have to talk to your local uh, broker or someone with a background on this so that you can have a better idea or you could do your research. But the main importance here is securing your future. Okay, guys? That is it, guys. 10 tips on what to do before you buy your first insurance policy. Now, I was supposed to have a script for this, but unfortunately, I lost it in the office. I left it. So I've been improvising, but you get the main idea. All of the tips are in non-chronological order, but uh, up to you. If someone has approached you, you should do your research. And uh, thank you for listening, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you soon.